how to work in the round using single crochet. So I'm going to start by chaining two and then I'm going to put six single crochet into the very first chain there. At the end of the six single crochets, I am not going to finish my row by slip stitching into the first stitch. I'm just going to go ahead and work into the first stitch. By doing that, I create a continuous row which essentially is just a spiral. So here I found my first stitch. I'm going to just go and put a single crochet in there. And then to mark my spot, I'm going to use a stitch marker so that when I get to the end of this second row, I know where the third one is going to start. For the second row, I'm going to put two single crochet in every single stitch all the way until I reach that stitch marker. The continuous rows are probably the most popular when working in the round because they're seamless but um you do have to use a stitch marker or i would highly recommend using a stitch marker i feel like you can probably count your stitches and just keep count in your head for like the first five rows or so but after that it um if you lose your spot it is a headache to figure out what number of stitches you're on for a specific kind of row Okay, so now I'm at the end of my second row, and I'm going to take my stitch marker out, and I'm going to put my first stitch into the third row, and then I'm going to put my stitch marker into the stitch I just finished. And then for the third row, I'm going to put two stitches into the first stitch, and then one stitch into the next one, and I'm going to repeat that all the way around until I get back to the stitch marker. And then for the fourth row, I'm going to put two stitches into the first stitch, one stitch into the next two stitches. And then for the fifth row, I'm going to put two single crochet into the first stitch, and then one single crochet into the next three stitches. Now this might be confusing because it's really hard to put into words, but you can figure out what row you're on by the number of stitches you have in each repetition. So for row two, I put two single crochet in each stitch. For row three, I put two and one, three. For row four, I put two, one, one, four. So I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I like to keep track of my rows. If I ever forget or if I don't have one of those uh, row clickers um, and I'm working in the round, that's a nice way to kind of keep track of that. But my three minutes are up. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next little lesson. So, have a good day!